Hello, and welcome to a new episode of the Adobe Creative Suite podcast. My name is Terry White, and in this episode, we're going to take a look at some of the new edge detection and compositing techniques inside of the brand new Photoshop CS5. So let's start off in MiniBridge. And in MiniBridge, I'm going to scroll through, and I see a document that has a background that I really want to use. I really like this background. However, it's in an InDesign document. So what I'll do is I'll just right-click on that InDesign document, and I'll say show linked files. That will let me preview all of the images that were linked or, or placed inside of that InDesign file. And there it is, my background PSD. So I'll just go ahead and launch that. And then I need to get the image that I actually want to put on top of that, which is going to be one of the models I shot. Now in this case, she's on a gray background, but there's a bigger problem. She has hair. <laughs> okay, so this has been the age-old problem for anyone that's worked with compositing, trying to get rid of the background when the subject has hair or soft edges, and this is where Photoshop CS5 really shines. So the first thing we'll do is we'll use a tool that usually doesn't do a good job of this, and it's the Quick Selection tool. Now, what I'm going to do with the Quick Selection tool is just basically grab a Quick Selection. Of course, the Quick Selection tool does a great job around hard edges, but the problem is around soft edges. The minute I went too far out, it freaked out. So let's go ahead and, and hold down the Option or Alt key to kind of pull it back a little bit. And while we've got this here, we'll just go ahead and just subtract a little bit more. And again, it's, it's subtracting, but it's still not doing a good job around the hair. Now I can, of course, come out a little bit more a little bit more there, and maybe a little bit more there, but that's pretty much the best this, this tool is going to do. So now we'll go to the new Refine Edge command. And in the Refine Edge command, I've got it set to show it on black, but we can look at it or preview this on different layers, different compositing modes. I can see it on a red overlay. I can see it on white. I can see the mass that it's made so far, which is horrible. I can see all of the various ways of looking at this, including on the background that I'm going to put it on. Well, obviously that looks horrible, so let's go ahead and take care of it. So now that we've seen what we're going to get so far, let's go in and check out the new edge detection inside of CS5. So I'll just go ahead and turn on the smart radius, and we'll just bump up the smart radius a little bit to be a little bit softer around the edges that are soft. This is the intelligent part about it. I've gone a little too far. Let's back up just a bit there. Now, of course, it still didn't it didn't do very much in, in helping me get rid of the colors that I, I, I selected by mistake or that I had no choice in selecting. So now we'll use this, this tool that's selected by default. It's the Refine Radius tool. And I'll just pump up my brush just a little bit. And I'll just go ahead and, and start painting on what I knew to be gray. And it looks like I'm adding more gray in when in fact what it's doing is it's saying, oh, you want to get rid of that color? Just let go and it starts to get rid of that color out of the image. So I can just go ahead and start painting through her hair where the gray was and it will go ahead and start to subtract that color out of the image but still keeping her nice soft hair. Now, of course, depending on the image, some of that gray is actually reflected into the subject itself, into her hair. So it's only going to do so much in this painting. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and do a couple of things. I'm going to turn on the decontaminate colors and just bump up that slider just a bit to kind of decontaminate some of that gray out of her hair. The next thing I can do is just bump down the edge or the shift edge just a touch and I think that's going to do it. Now you can probably still see some gray in there, but again, you're looking at it now because you remember the gray was there and you're also looking at it on a black background, but keep in mind where this is going. So now I've got it set to output this as a new layer and layer mask, which is going to be the default when you choose decontaminate colors. We'll just click OK now. And guess what? As soon as it outputs that layer, we're good to go. So now we'll just go ahead and zoom in on it so you can really examine it. And look at the job it did. Fantastic job on the hair and the edges around that image that were just no way to do it that fast with any other tool or method you've been doing before. So again, that's a quick look at Photoshop CS5, the new edge detection feature. When you make a selection, just, to, just choose your refine 
edge command and you can jump in and start to do this. There's also a refine mask command that does it the same way but on a mask that you've already created. That's it for this week's episode. My name is Terry White. Thanks for watching.